Hey, welcome back to the channel. This is Rich. I am getting ready to grout the shower walls. Um, so what I'm using today is Spectralock 1. It's made by Laticrete and it is a pre-mixed grout so you do not have to mix it. It already comes wet in the can. You don't have to stir it and you just go ahead and start applying it right away. I highly recommend that you take a look at the instructions before using this kind of grout because it does set up um, quicker than your normal grouts. Normally in a, a regular grout, you put the grout down and then you wait about 20 to 30 minutes before you give it a wash with a sponge. Whereas this one, you have to work in smaller sections because uh, depending on the temperature and humidity, uh, you will need to begin giving it its first uh, wash between 5 and 15 minutes. I've already done the uh, mosaic tiles behind me and I've noticed when I was doing the mosaics that within about five, 5 to 7 minutes you really needed to start cleaning it off because it was getting set up to where it was sticking to the mosaic tiles. Um, so that you want to make sure that you can get those kind of wiped off before um, you have to apply too much pressure because you don't want to apply pressure to the sponge when you're wiping it because it will pull the grout out of the joints. And the reason why I'm using this grout is a little more expensive than the other kinds is because it has the strength of an epoxy um, and is made for you know heavy water usage, so shower stalls, uh, steam uh, showers and pools and things like that. So this has a sealer already built into it and um, it holds up to uh, cleaning a lot better than some of the other products that are out there. Now Laticrete also has its regular grouts, uh, permacolor grouts, and they have similar colors and matching colors. So I'm using Silver Shadow, but I'll also be using the same shade uh, for the floor, but I'm going to be using the permacolor grout and they also have a silver shadow so it will match because I have um, a curbless shower and when I transition from the permacolor to this I want to make sure that the colors do uh, match up. Um, so I'm using same brands uh, to make sure that, that I get a uniform look even though um, I'm not using this type of grout throughout the bathroom. I just kind of felt like it was overkill uh, to, to use this in the rest of the floor and I'll get the same effect with the other permacolor grout. I went through and cleaned out all my joints to make sure that they are free from, from thin set and that also uh, took a, a razor blade and kind of scraped all the edges for extra thin set that might be on the face of the tile just to make sure that they're clean it's going to make uh, grouting a lot easier if you if you have all that stuff clean before you actually grout because those little bits of thin set if they're stuck to it when you run over it with the grout it's just going to catch more grout and then you're going to have more cleanup to to deal with later it's a good practice to go ahead and make sure that you clean all that up and the first thing you want to do before you start grouting is to get a damp sponge and wipe the walls that you're going to grout initially. You want it to be somewhat damp because it just makes uh, the, the smearing of the grout go a little more smoothly um, and it's easier to wipe up the tile once, uh, once you're done. Now that I got it, just go ahead and use a damp sponge to just kind of give it a, a wipe um, and just go in little circular motions just to kind of clean everything up. Since I got a lot of area here, I can I can get real. I can kind of get aggressive here in the middle, but just got to be careful when you get to the edges. 
just keep it clean. Once it gets built up, you can go ahead and rinse the sponge out. Yeah, it's starting to get tough in spots. It's good this is a good a big tile, so you can clean it rather easily, but just gotta be careful with these edges there. So in between groutings when you're getting ready to wash stuff, uh, it's good to put this little seal back on top to keep that protected because this stuff wants to dry really quick and keep it covered until you're ready to use it again because if not you'll waste a whole bunch of it and that's expensive. They say when you have changes of plane, you're supposed to be putting uh, a, like a silicone caulk because the movement of the shower will cause the grout to crack. And I do have silicone caulk in case it does crack, which I'm sure it will at some point, but I, I'd rather fill that crack uh, that I have versus the joint. So I'm putting in uh, grout in between here. Um, for now, and if I have to add the silicone, I will. There is uh, color match silicone that uh, Laticrete provides, and I bought some of the Silver Shadow, so I'll hang on to it. If it if it does, then I'll go ahead and do it. I prefer the grout over the silicone. Um, just less chance of um, mold. Uh, no matter what silicone you use, eventually you're gonna have to change it out, so I, I just assume put in the grout. I'm sure there will be comments that suggest that you shouldn't do that and I know you shouldn't. I'm not saying that you shouldn't. Um, I, I, I will do it if it cracks. I'll end up putting caulking in there but uh, for right now that's that's what I'm doing. Good or bad. Okay, so it's been about 45 minutes on this side, and I'm gonna go ahead and give it a wipe with a really, really damp sponge. So you wanna make sure you wring it out really good, and um, just give it one wipe, and flip it, and then another wipe, <clears throat> and then that'll be good. I didn't grout this area because obviously it's not, the tiles aren't thin set it down and I have that channel that I still need to put for the glass. But I figured I could go ahead and grout the, the remaining part of the shower since I was doing all of this 
today. So it's fairly complete for the shower area. Now the rest of the floor, I'm going to be using the other, the other grout. Um, I'll use the the Spectra Lock all the way out to here once I get this all done because I still have a little bit of it left. But um, but for now, this is done. I'm gonna wait about 45 minutes and I'll come back through and try to get some more of the haze off of it. Um, but uh, but this is pretty much complete. I think this is gonna be the end for this video. I'm pretty whooped. <laughs> it was a full day of routing and washing and changing buckets and washing and grouting. So uh, I'm gonna clean up and um, relax for a little bit. All right, uh, until the next video, uh, I will talk to you all later. Um, if you have any comments about this, uh, leave them in the comment section below or uh, shoot me a question, I'll try to answer it. Okay.